All right, gonna do a water test. Got this first alert drinking water test kit from Amazon. I already opened up the package. Drinking water test kit. Read the instructions. Let's give it a go. All right, bacteria instructions. Apparently this one, it's going to take 48 hours to test the bacteria. Well, I'll leave that for 48 hours. If it turns purple, apparently it's okay. If it turns orange or yellow, apparently there's bacteria in there. I'll let that sit. Put that in my medicine cabinet later. All right, number two. Lead pesticide test instructions. And two dropper fills of water in the chest well.
I guess I gotta wait ten minutes now. Okay, we're on to the nitrate test. Doing this one though. One, two. Okay. Now, I'm gonna wait one minute. This might be hard to tell, but after about a minute, I'm going to say it's looking like the total nitrate I'm going to go with 0.5, so it's actually down here on this end, this one, and then nitrate I don't understand why there's two things here, but the other one's pretty white. I mean, let's say it's 0.15. So we're looking at these two right here, 0 0.5, 0 0.15. Okay, so now we're going to test the pH hardness. This one, I guess, you just put in immediately to take out. Hold it for fifteen seconds. It's a pH. to go with eight and a half eight and a half for the pH hardness Dillinger hmm. I'd say that's 250 for the hardness chlorine 
looking at about a two. So eight and a half pH hardness. We're doing a two fifty, and chlorine is a two point oh, or even a zero. I don't know. It's pretty. It's gone down now. So I did also get this thing. This thing tests the total dissolved solids uh, in the water from 0 to 9,990 parts per million and uh, it's this little doodad and this is that same batch of water testing at oops like 493 let's see and now it's doing 489 488 400 and some glare here 488 parts per million which according to this chart let's see here I don't know if you can see it, but that is right here. High TDS from tap or mineral springs, 488. Let's see if I can get here. It's too close. So the 10 minutes is up, so now we can test the lead and pesticides. So if it's closer to the number ones, apparently it is negative. Which I see a number one for lead that's a good sign and for pesticide so that is good news for both of these let's see if I can get a better zoom so that's what we wanted we wanted the uh, the blue line closer to the number ones if it was closer to the number two, then apparently it would have been high in lead or pesticides. So, I'm going to do another test with my little total dissolved solid thing here. But this time, I'm going to test my Brita filter. Gotta say, I'm pretty disappointed in the results so far. So this is a brand new filter. Uh, let's see here. It's just a few days old. I started at 6.6. What is today? 6.12. So... I don't know, maybe I've done 10 gallons on it so far of water. And let's give it a test here. We just tested the water by itself a second ago and it had 488 parts per million of total dissolved solids in it. And turning on the filter, we're going to go ahead and let that run for a second. Fill up now this glass. All right, 
right, let's see here. Go ahead and start this off. As you can see here, we're at zero parts per million. And 486. So it's essentially exactly the same. Now, granted, this is parts per million. Let's see here. You can see that. So, I mean, that's not a lot of parts out of a million, 485 out of a million other things in my water besides just pure water. Uh, I will say this, though, I, I have tested other waters, and uh, the be best one so far at my work, this reverse osmosis machine had it down to 24 parts per million which I guess I'm going to be trying to drink mostly that water from now on.